Matt Smith never dreamed of it, but today he's a household name. Most of us know him as the 11th Doctor. And those who don't know now know him as Daemon Targaryen from House of the Dragon. The bad boy role has unexpectedly made him everyone's favorite character. With the success of the first season, Matt's bound to return to the role in the next season. Until then, let's find out more about the beloved actor. In 10th place, Matt wanted to pursue a career as a professional footballer. Matt Smith played for various young teams and eventually rose to the position of team captain. His undeniable talent made sense because he came from a family gifted in the sport. After his grandfather played for Notts County, he had hopes of continuing his grandfather's professional playing career. Before joining Leicester City, the former BAFTA candidate and National Television Award winner had also played for the youth teams of Northampton Town and Nottingham Forest, up until he got some bad news. When playing as team captain, he suffered a severe back injury called spondylosis. Unfortunately, the diagnosis put an end to his football career aspirations. At just 16 years of age, he didn't let the setback get to him. After the advice of his teacher, Smith finally left the team and went on to pursue a career in acting. And we couldn't be happier. At number 9, he was almost cast in BBC's Sherlock. Sherlock was a hit with fans. Benedict Cumberbatch took on the role of a titular character while Martin Freeman played John Watson. The casting was almost perfect. Stephen Moffat, who has a hand in Sherlock and Doctor Who, revealed that Matt Smith had auditioned for, wait for it, John Watson. Yeah, Moffat recalled the audition and how bizarre it seems in hindsight that the actor would feel Watson was the role for him. The producer felt there was something a bit barmy about Smith and that he was clearly more suited to the role of Sherlock. But they'd already chosen Cumberbatch for the role. Fortunately for Smith, Moffat had Doctor Who on his mind. He recalled seeing Matt's name on the list of possible actors who could play the Doctor and the thought stuck. Matt Smith would go on to play one of our favorite Doctors for three seasons and various specials. In eighth place, he's passionate about his music. Matt Smith is a man of many talents. Another thing he's super passionate about is music. When speaking to Rolling Stone UK, he revealed he has a large record collection that he's accumulated over the past years. His dad used to listen to a lot of Beatles, but he didn't take good care of it. Wait, that's not all. He was also a DJ in his late teens, and he took that opportunity to play a lot of house and trance records. He has asked the creators to let the doctor have a piano on set. Unfortunately, that never happened. He's also a big fan of Oasis and Radiohead. And now that he's a huge star, he'll now be appearing in the music video for Noel Gallagher's newest single, High Flying Bird. Sounds like a dream come true for Matt. At number 7, he started his career in theatre. Like a lot of actors, Matt too learned about his talents when he was on stage. When his footballing career reached its end, he enrolled at the University of East Anglia to study drama and creative writing. Thankfully, the teacher recognized his talents and the rest is history. From there, he was able to join the National Youth Theatre, which finally earned him professional work in Fresh Kills and on the shore of the wide world. In sixth place, Smith's also incredibly clumsy. Matt Smith became known for being clumsy on the set of Doctor Who. Turns out he's aware of that too. He mentioned that he has a habit of walking into lamps, dropping things, and spilling on the sofa. In fact, producers on the set began to place bets on when he would break the props on the set. Stephen Moffat recalled a specific moment on set where he broke the strap he was hanging off. However, the director loved the moment and decided to keep it in. Moffat couldn't help but add that he brushes off his clumsy moments and it only adds to his charm. That's not all. At one point, he spilled a coffee on a woman. He apologized and brought her another cup, only to spill that one on her as well. When he was filming in South Africa, he was told to stay away from the horses. If you're wondering why, let us clarify. Smith almost broke his neck while riding a horse on the set of The Crown. According to the animal expert, Smith didn't know how to ride a horse and so a stunt double was arranged to film the scene. But when he was looking away, Matt got on and fell off, almost killing himself. The actor was uninjured, but as white as a sheet. For once, we can say that Matt bit off more than he could chew. At number 5, he spoke with Prince William to prepare. Another major role that Matt Smith portrayed was that of Prince Philip in Netflix's The Crown. He informed fans that a chance encounter with the British royal helped him prepare for his role. Prince William said, just one word, legend. After Matt played Prince Philip on the show, he couldn't help but agree. The longer he played the character, the more he came to realize the truth of the future king's words. He too began to see Philip as a rock star. Smith met Prince Harry too. At a not too grand polo match, the royal walked up to the actor and simply called him granddad. It proved that Harry had watched the show, or at least he had seen a bit of it. 
but that was more than enough for Matt. At number 4, Matt Smith was reluctant to take on the role of Damian Targaryen. Matt might not have known at the beginning, but his name constantly kept coming up to play Damian Targaryen. The executive producers mentioned that the actor wasn't very excited when he learned about the role. Thankfully, he showed up for the audition. Still, he wasn't convinced. And we don't blame him. The pressure that came with joining the prequel was significant. Nobody knew how well the prequel would perform. When it was announced that Paddy Constantine would be hired for the role of King Viserys, he was finally convinced. Matt had always wanted to work with the actor, and he would finally get the chance to do so in House of the Dragon. Fans of the show will be more than grateful for how everything turned out. In third place, it's been less stressful to play Damon than the Doctor. You would think that working in a fantasy show as a goofy time traveler would be easier than a great character in a world-famous series. But no, you'd be wrong. According to Smith, it's much less stressful to play Damon than it was to take on the responsibility of portraying the 11th Time Lord. The pressure that came with his biggest role was very high. On House of the Dragon, he's able to share the burden of carrying the show with other major characters. On Doctor Who, the burden was all on him. In fact, he doubts he will ever feel pressure like that again in his career. He explained that as Damon, all he does is memorize his lines and deliver them in costume in a studio. Things are much different this time around. Regardless, he couldn't help but recall just how much he missed the show. Playing the character of the Doctor has been a fun time for the actor, and it was very tough to say goodbye to the role. In second place, Matt's got an incredible aura. Matt Smith makes friends almost everywhere he goes. Matters are no different on the set of House of the Dragon. His co-star, Emma Darcy, gushed about working with the actor and explained how much he'd helped her on set. As a relatively newer actor, Emma was very worried about the various pressures this role would bring. Matt helped her relax. He asked her to ignore the time pressures and not to worry about such trivial things. His advice and support helped her, and Emma's glad to be working with him. She also added, And then suddenly, working with Matt Smith, who has an extraordinary aura, I love working with him. The executive producer of the show also recently expressed her surprise. Fans are thirsting over Damon, and she can't understand why. She stated that Matt was incredible as Damon. Not that Matt isn't incredibly charismatic and wonderful. Looks like he's a popular presence on set. Can't wait to see what he's going to do next. At number one, he was the youngest actor to play the doctor. There are a lot of people who brought this moment into existence. There's the teacher who told him to pursue acting, and Moffat, who decided he wasn't a right fit for Watson. All of his work and other efforts would finally lead to this moment. He would be hired as the youngest doctor ever. At just 26 years of age, he had successfully beat out a long list of possible actors to finally kickstart his career. That's a wrap for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.